Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for a take. So finally the Forgotten Beast is came back in the form of unofficial build by the Veritas. Development of Android 12 basic custom ROM was started one year ago for the OnePlus 6 through the rise of Siberia, which has given the lots of amazing experience with the new updates on this 6 year old device. It gave the new hope of life but suddenly the NSPB lost his OnePlus 6 and the development halted from the last 4-5 months. But now new developer Veritas who is creating the unofficial build rise in the hope once again. He added some useful features like fully working Oxonus camera, gallery application and new MCD kernel. If you are coming from the new retrofit builds of the Evolution X then you have to restore the Oxonus 11 or Oxonus 10 stock firmware using the MSM tool. You can check the iCard video for the MSM tool flashing. Once done flash the Oxonus 11 update zip while local install in the software update section. Then flash the TWRP and follow the flashing process as we did in the old videos. But if you are using any other custom ROM except the Evolution X then just follow the iCard video to flash the ROM in the TWRP. So I already did the flashing. Today we will see what's new in the about phone. How is the performance of this new cyber OS compared to the old builds. What's working with the review of the Oxonus camera application. New features in the new cyber update. And finally I discussed what are the bugs with my final verdict. So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. Phone booted with the new cyber iOS boot animation. Last time there was a different boot animation. After completing the setup, let's go to the about phone to check the details of the new update. If you check the setting application, it's now completely changed here and it looks amazing. In the about phone section, you can find finally CyberOS upgraded to the new Android 13 with the new Android 13 historic. Security patch is of November 2022. So speciality of ROM is it comes with the new MCD R19 kernel and its version is 4.9.227. Kernel is built with the latest Clang tool chain 14. Build date of ROM is 5th December 2022. So everything is up to date in the new build which was upgraded after 5 months. Now we will compare the performance of the new ROM with the last build of Siberia. Initial impression of ROM is very good, it's amazing, much fluid and fast. Apps opening, closing, switching between the applications, scrolling, all the things are just flying. Hold the time screen refresh rate remains at the 60 FPS. There will be no any drop in the screen FPS. When I ran the Geekbench test, I got the score of 506 for the single core and 2070 for the multi-core. If you check the old ROM video from that card, you can see it has the 478 and 1943 respectively. As per the results, ROM slightly improved. When I ran the Hulkan graphic test, we got the score of 1966, while on the old build, we got 1977. OpenGL graphics API test has been removed by the Geekbench, so I was not able to test its results. Overall, definitely new ROM is damn fast and stable as compared to the 5 months old build. As this is the initial build, I tested all the things and confirmed they are working or not. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspots are working. Bluetooth is also working with the supported codecs like HBC, ACC and LDAC. NFC and the GPS location is also working well. Alert slider with the notification is working. Fingerprint unlock with the face unlock is available and both are working very fast. Auto brightness is working with the good accuracy of the lux values. Next I tested all the sensors like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope, all the sensors are working without issues. In the device info application I tested some other important features like the ear proximity, microphone, torch, multi-touch and the touch panel, everything is working without issues. Now let's see very important part camera, ROM comes with the fully working Oxonus camera application. Videos on the photo shooting both are working with the quite good quality. Video recording has the 4K system face recording working, even my Nord 2 and the Nothing phone didn't have this support. Portrait modes for the both the front and the main cameras are working, Nightscape mode is also working, slow motion and the timeless both are working well. Sometimes slow motion caused force close of camera application but later it works again. 
Pro mode is fully working in the camera. Dual SIM 4G networks with the OLT calling is working without any mic issues in the calling. There is a call recording function available in the dialer which will record the calls when you manually tap on the recording icon. And the recording will be found under the call log history but you will not get any recording under the file manager. Surprisingly OK Google or the Hey Google is working fine for me. Actually I am facing this issue from the all the old builds that I was using from the last one year. But this beast has solved it. Even the off screen OK Google is working fine and there is no lag in the audio or the media playback even if OK Google toggle is enabled in the setting. Now let's check out the security related options like the safety net. ROM is passing the safety net so we can use all the banking and security related applications. Wide one is on L3 so we cannot stream the Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution and this issue is persist in the all the ROMs. ROM has the OT updater application and is actually showing the updates even if the ROM is unofficially supported. As for now I did not got any OT update so I cannot confirm that we are able to upgrade the ROM YC setting or not. And the new addition done by the video was that even the original developers of the ROM did not add it. Device storage is encrypted now so even though your phone is mistakenly got stolen or the lost, then your data is safe because no one can decrypt your data because of the encryption. Now it's time to check the new features added in the new Siberi OS. We already seen ROM has the new settings panel which looks cool. There is a major customization available in the Siberi setting option of the setting panel. Here in the notification tab we get the new notification style called as the reticker which will be good replacement for the old heads up notification if you want the changes. Here we get the full notification at the top of the phone in the form of the bar with the app background color. In the user interface setting we get the new power menu animations. This feature I did not found in any other custom ROMs. You can check all the new power menu animation as on the screen. There is a black theme toggle available which gives the black theme in the whole the settings of the ROM. Except this all the old customization that we found in the old version of the ROMs are already here. You can check them from the iCard video. There is another setting available called as the device extras. Here we get some additional customizations. One is the alert slider customization but for now it's buggy. We discuss its bugs in the bugs part of the video. Next is the new Dolby Atmos. This new application is completely different from the old Dolby Atmos that you've seen in the older builds of the ROM. It's completely changing the sound quality to the next level that you can't imagine. Dynamic and the movie equalizer setup giving the amazing sound quality. Next is the DC dimming toggle, high brightness mode, FPS overlays, earpiece and the microphone gains. The screen gestures all are working and they are useful addition. There is a vibration control setting available and here I noticed the vibration at the low level actually got improved. They feel smooth like my newest devices like the Nothing Phone 1. In the home setting of the launcher we get the taskbar. We already seen this feature in the old build. But that time it's causing some lag in the user interface but now it's working very good without any lag. We can use the dock applications along with the app drawer anywhere in the ROM. We can hide the taskbar by long pressing on the edges of the bottom screen and reactivate the taskbar by long pressing on the taskbar peel. But it's not properly working for now needs to be fixed in the new updates. We can drag the application from the taskbar to the currently running application and it will be open in the form of the split screen. Now let's check out the bugs or the issues in the ROM. First one is in the device extras. Here we get the alert slider customizations but when you change the setting and try to use the alert slider system user interface getting forced close. Next is not a bug but the missing feature that is the Google Photos unlimited photo backup but it's not available in this ROM. Except these small problems nothing I found serious in the ROM even the OK Google bug has been fixed that I already shown to you. Regarding the battery life I can't confirm anything because I am not able to use this device as a daily driver so you have to judge it yourself after flashing the ROM. This is all about the new Beast Siberia. In the first impression, I really liked this build. And if it gets the regular support by the Viritos, then it will be amazing for the Siberia lovers. So finger crossed. That's it for today guys. If you think I helped you through this video, then please do like, share, subscribe. And press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.